long time ago, in the land of ancient Greece, walked a troubled soul with a tragic fate. His name was Oedipus. Raised by Polybus, king of Corinth, and Queen Merope, Oedipus lived a rich and royal life in Corinth. But when a drunk informed him that Polybus was not his real father, Oedipus went to the king and queen in search of answers. They denied the drunkard's claim, but Oedipus was not satisfied. Confused, he sought counsel from the Oracle of Apollo, who told him that he must not return home or he would kill his father and marry his mother. Fearful of the prophecy, Oedipus now flees from Corinth, taking the road to Thebes. Down the road travels another man carried by his servants. He is Laius, king of Thebes. A long time ago, the oracle from Delphi told him that his child would kill him and marry his wife, Jocasta. One night, however, Laius was drunk and fathered Oedipus with her. Laius ordered the baby's feet bound and for it to be abandoned on Mount Cathyron. Laius, however, did not see to it that his orders be carried out, and baby Oedipus survived. The baby was eventually taken by a shepherd and given to King Polybus and Queen Merope of Corinth, who raised him to adulthood. Here, Oedipus and Laius are reunited at a crossroads, father and son, though they do not know it. Halt! Stand aside, traveler. Nay, it is you who shall stand aside. Yield now or be trampled. I will not yield the road. Run him off the road! Seize him! Motherfucker! Literally. Oedipus will continue on to Thebes, where he will defeat the Sphinx in Riddle, and be awarded the newly vacant throne for this deed. He will marry Jocasta, his mother, and father four children, but Oedipus is ultimately destined for tragedy, as the horrible truths of his life will eventually become revealed.